There are many different methods of form creation. Personally, I tend to start with the form wizard because it gets you started and actually sets up your data sources and allows you to have all of the fields you require aligned and presented well on the form. From there, I would often go on to design view to make any specific changes that I, requ I require. You can go straight into design view, so you can actually start with a blank form, go into design view, set up the data source, which is where the data comes from, the query or the tables that you're using, and then add all of the fields manually. But personally, I find that just takes a lot more time. So I tend to start with the wizard and then go into design view afterwards. There are a couple of other types you can use. You can use a navigation form. Now this is a really useful form because it's a standard form but it has tabs along it. So you can actually represent multiple different forms. Now it may be that you have an employee who only needs three or four different forms. The data on those forms can be represented on each tab of your navigation form. So they actually only need to go to one place, then use the different tabs of that form to go to all the different things that they require. Other types that you would have, modal dialog boxes are quite handy because they have to be dealt with. You can't click anywhere except on that form itself. So what they're really useful for is showing messages to your users. They have to click the OK of the message, otherwise the message won't go away and they can't do anything else. And another type is to use a data sheet view that looks like a table. So we can actually have a form that looks like a table and as I mentioned with tables, that can be useful to hide away any fields that you're not interested in and show a customized table view of your form. Now let's have a look at creating forms in Access 2013.